Hello friends, it's Jim O'Rear. Welcome back to Jim O'Rear's Wacky World. On today's video, we are going to look at why you should not trust the YouTube experts who are online always telling you how to increase your subscriber base, make more money, get more views. Yeah, in this video, I'm going to show you a few examples of why you should not listen to them and why what they're saying doesn't make sense. And then at the end of the video, as a non-expert, I'm going to give you maybe a look at a little different way you can look at your videos and um, it may actually help you. So <clears throat> let's jump right in. <clears throat> Number one as to why you should not listen to the experts. All right, so the experts are gonna tell you that you need to find your niche audience and make videos specifically for that audience. And when you do, you're going to get all kinds of subscribers from that audience. And the best way for you to pick the topics of your videos is to use Google Trends. This makes absolutely no sense at all. You can find tons and tons of videos out there of people telling you that the way you should pick your topic for your video is by going to Google Trends and find out what's trending. What are people most interested in at that moment? Okay, this is completely conflicting information. Now, if I'm gonna find my niche audience, as you can sort of see here, my niche audience is people like me. It's the geek crowd. It's the people that like horror movies and comic books and collectible toys and haunted houses and Disney and stuff like that. When I go to Google Trends and look, Google Trends shows, oh wait, there's, there's people that are most interested in, in sports and more sports and more sports and uh, in politics and more sports. So if you're telling me that the way I need to get more viewers, more subscribers is to make videos based on what's trending, those trending topics don't go towards my niche audience. If I was to talk about sports, which is the top trending thing on Google Trends, I would be saying something like, uh, yeah, the, the team dribbled their way to a touchdown because the, the goalie was unprotected by the umpire. Yeah, I would have no clue what I'm talking about when it comes to sports. So why am I going to pick that topic? I mean, look at Google Trends. That's what it is. So you see in Google Trends, there is nothing geek related on there at all. So what is it experts? Do I create videos for my niche audience or do I create videos based on what people are searching for that I have no qualification to talk about at all? I don't know. Moving on. Second example, you're going to find a bunch of examples or, or videos out there of uh, these experts that say, I'm going to tell you exactly what time is the best time to post your video online to make sure it gets the most exposure. And you'll find a variety of times in, in these videos. Everybody thinks it's a, it's a different time, but there's, there's several that say 4 PM, your time zone is the best time to post your video. Well, right off the bat, this doesn't make any sense to me because YouTube is a worldwide platform. There are people in all time zones watching at all different times. So I'm on the East Coast. If I post my video at 4 p.m. in my time zone, that means my California subscribers see it at 1 p.m. My subscribers on the other side of the world, it could be a completely different day. Who knows? Maybe even in the morning over there. And then what, what are you going to what are you going to tell the people who are posting videos in California? Post them at 4 p.m. your time zone, because if I'm watching a video from somebody in California, that's going to be 7 p.m. my time. It makes absolutely no sense to say this specific time in your time zone is going to get you the most viewers. And then that same video will go on to say that 4 p.m. is the best time to post it. But you should also look at YouTube's analytics at when the most viewers and subscribers of your channel are online and post at that time so that you get the most views. Okay, well, if we look at the analytics on my channel, for example, 
it says that most of my viewers and subscribers are online watching videos between 9 a.m. and noon. So what is it, experts? Is 4 p.m. my time zone the best time? Or 9 a.m. my time zone the best time? Because those are two completely different times a day. Yeah, doesn't make any sense. So thirdly, third example, to kind of go along with that, um, you know, they say that the most important time for your video is the first hour that it's posted because YouTube is going to decide based on the performance during that first hour how they want to push out your video to people. If 4 p.m. is the best time and I'm posting at 4 p.m. to get the most viewers or 9 a.m. looking at another stat and I want to put it out there and get the most viewers at that time, this video goes on to tell me that when you are sharing links to that video to get more people to watch it, you know, like you take a link to your video and you post it on Facebook and say, hey, come on and watch this video that I just posted. Those experts will tell you, don't share your video until at least 24 hours after you've posted it. Okay, well, well, well wait a minute. What is it, experts? Do I need the most views in the first hour? Or do I want to wait 24 hours later to promote it to my 5,000 people on Facebook or my 10,000 people or whatever that may go see the video? Again, makes no sense. Now, I could go on and on and on with all of these contradictory examples, but see for yourself. You can watch those videos out there and just keep watching them and you're going to see how much information from these experts conflict with each other. What it tells me is they just don't know. These experts don't know how the YouTube algorithm works. No one knows. It's a crapshoot. So, as a non-expert and a guy that has not a huge channel, as of this filming, I I've probably got 32,000, 33,000 subscribers. But my subscriber base consistently brings in at least 1,000 new viewers a month, sometimes more than that, consistently and organically growing 1,000 subscribers a month and more views. And what I'm doing basically is saying, maybe look at, at the approach a little different way. Instead of developing videos for the algorithm, develop videos for people and those people that like what you like. I'm going to continue to make geek videos about this stuff. And some of those videos are going to get hundreds of thousands of views. And some of those videos are going to get 50 views. I don't know. It's a crapshoot. All you can do is experiment. But if I'm making videos that I like about things that I like for similar people that like those same things that I like, those people are going to find me and they are finding me at a thousand new subscribers or more a month. So I am growing organically. I am getting more views organically. I am making more money organically. Is it even? Do I know what I'm doing? Do I know uh, if this video is going to get 500,000 views and this gets 50? I don't, but I'm talking about what I know to talk about and I'm making it for people instead of an algorithm. So just an idea to, uh, to maybe give you a little different outlook or focus on how you're developing your videos and to stop listening to these experts that are raking up hundreds of thousands of videos telling you nothing but conflicting information. So anyway, that's my take on it. So I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. If you have, click that like button to let the powers that be know that you like the video. And while you're at it, click on follow or subscribe and you'll be notified when I upload new videos. But thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time.